Hello coaches, welcome back to another breakdown. This week we're going to talk about counter-attacking, how to score in transitions, how to take advantage of those overloads in attacking situations and how to practice that on the training pitch. Three exercises that are perfect for working on scoring in transition. If you enjoy the videos, please give it a like and subscribe below. If you enjoy the exercises, please check out the ebook. If you enjoy analysis and you want to improve your presentations and work with the animations, please check out Keyframe. We've teamed up with them for these videos. Please check them out. Link is below and we'll also hear from them at the halfway point. Okay, attacking transition exercises. Let's go. So although scoring in transition is one of the most common ways to score goals attacking transition and counter-attacking is not something that's worked on an awful lot for a lot of teams why is that because sometimes coaches don't want to be known as a counter-attacking team so they see that as being almost a negative or defensive way of playing but just to clear it up this is scoring in transition you might be winning the ball in a high press situation so you might be winning the ball 30 40 yards from goals or you might be winning it 20 yards from goal either way scoring in transition and take advantage of that overload is the priority of these exercises a great quote to change the mindset of transitions and counter-attacks is this from Carlo Ancelotti from last season our counter-attacks against Barcelona were not simple long ball counter-attacks they were built with three or four low short passes six players in Barcelona's box when we scored our last goal it was brilliant People say we play with counter-attacks. I am delighted to play with counter-attacks like those. So what I love about that quote is that he emphasizes the numbers in the transition, getting the overloads against the opposition in the final third. Again, whether you're winning it from 20 yards or whether you're winning it from 50 yards further back, that's the key point of these exercises. We talk a lot about decision-making as coaches in possession, Decision making on the transition and decision making in the counter attack is one of the most difficult things to do because it's done at such speed. But the more options you have on the break, the easier it is to make those decisions. When you're outnumbering the opponent, it's easier to pick the free pass. So we're going to look at emphasizing in these three exercises, we're going to look at emphasizing the overload at all times and taking advantage of that extra player who can help you score a goal. All right, let's go. So the first exercise we're going to look at is two 4v2 boxes, then a 2v1 higher up the pitch, and then two midfielders who are going to go in and support. So the exercise starts with the defensive team in a 4v2 box. Once the red team win the ball back, they're looking at playing the ball into the forward and then going in and support. No defensive players can go back from the box but attacking players can support and there's two coming from midfield so it creates a potential 3v2 or even a 4v2 if you can get players up to score numbers in transition and then the other side goes and then you rotate the forwards and you rotate the midfielders great exercise for painting a picture of working against the ball initially and then getting players in support to turn the 1v2 against the centre-backs into a 3v2 in your favour, create a goal-scoring opportunity and score. Our next exercise is a fun game, competitive game, a little bit different in the sense that one team constantly has an overload, whereas the other team is constantly playing even numbers. So one team has an advantage in the attacking sense and the other team is constantly trying to figure out and challenge those spaces aren't as accessible because they don't have the overload. So what this is good for is constantly flipping the conditions between both teams so they get used to attacking with an overload and attacking with even numbers. And it should be a good way to communicate that it's easier to score with the overload so you can try and work that in to your game model and your training. So it starts off as a two versus zero. Two blues go out against zero defenders there should be a high probability of them scoring in this situation. As soon as that ball goes in the back of the net, then two reds. So again, they're going even numbers all the time. Two reds, 2v2. Two two, and they've got to try and solve this challenge of even numbers. Which they do on this occasion. Really, really good combination play. Finishing goal. 
Blue team get another numerical advantage. Overload. 3v2 now. The game continues. Another transition. 3v2. Blue team has the advantage going to goal. Can they take advantage of the plus one? Create a goal scoring opportunity. In this case, they do. And then the last ball is a 3v3. Again, the red team have to solve even numbers in the attack. If the blue team win the ball, they can always transition to the other goal. So it's a game that's constantly looking at different numbers in the transition, constantly looking at players to solve overloads and solve even numbers. Really, really good competitive game. Hello coaches, we take a quick break here. Massive, massive thanks to our friends at Keyframe for their support on these videos. Video is a great coaching tool, but it's the telestration that has proven to take video to that next level. It improves understanding, aids retention, and the software can save time when you're coaching the player using videos. However, it's normally quite expensive and hard to produce, but Keyframe solves these problems. Keyframe simple to use, fast to learn, works with any video provider, and is affordable. Here's a quick look at what they do. Check them out on the link below. And then the last game is one of my favourite. It's an overload, but you've got a trailing defender. So you've only got a limited amount of time to take advantage of the plus one in the attack. So it starts off with two teams. Starts off with a 3v2. And as soon as played by the coach, and as soon as the team in possession crosses the halfway line, a trailing defender can sprint around the mannequin in the middle and then join the defending team. So it's a 3v2 for a window of time. A team attacking has to take advantage of that, which they do. As soon as it's scored, the attacking players go off. The three defenders stay. Two new defenders go on the pitch. And as soon as the team cross the halfway line, the defender trailing can come on run around the mannequin which takes a few seconds recover into a defensive position and again they got to take advantage of that overload in a certain period of time attacking team goes off two new defenders come on defensive team becomes the attacking team and as soon as they cross the halfway line the defender is in play so i really like about this here because it challenges the attacking team to take advantage of the plus one it also challenges the defensive team to recover really really quickly in transition and again it's a fun competitive game and there should be lots of goals and opportunities so there you have it three exercises aimed at replicating the speed of decisions of counter-attacking challenging players to make those decisions on the break challenging players to take advantage of the overload challenge the defensive players to respond and make life difficult and also challenging players to be creative and be quick with their decision making if a defender is recovering they've got to do it before that defender gets back in so different ways to try and replicate a counter attack or scoring in transition again you can change and modify it to change distances and to suit your state of play if you're a high press team and you're looking at taking advantage of a transition 20 30 yards from goal or maybe you are further back and you're looking at getting teams in a lower block or you're looking at taking advantages of teams when you're sitting in medium blocks and you can transition 40 50 yards again you can change that as a coach based on the session design based on the distances based on the size of the areas 
Hope you enjoyed that. As always, really appreciate the support. Before you shoot off, please give it a like. Give it a subscribe as well below and help support what we're doing. If you want more session ideas, get yourself over to modernsoccercoach.com slash shop. There's some free resources on there and there's also got session booklets as well. And don't forget, if you're a coach that's looking at improving on the tactical side of the game, please check out Keyframe. Their software is effective. It's really easy to use and it's really, really affordable. Also on the links below. So check out below. Thanks so much for your support. I will see you next week. Goodbye.